there, there. Did you have to spend the night all alone in your little basket? Never mind, dear. Tonight you should sleep in our bed. And if Uncle George doesn't like it, Uncle George can sleep in the basket. <laughs> oh, go on. Kill! <laughs> that, that not now, Mildred. <laughs> oh, <laughs> stop it! <laughs> oh, go on, get off. Oh, she likes you, George. God knows why, but she does. <laughs> oh, it's unhygienic, Mildred. I could get our pad or something. Oh, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> come on, Truffles, you leave them alone. Sure, oh, come on, Truffles. That's a sissy name, that. You should have called her Fang or Satan. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking of calling her Rags, after my wardrobe. <laughs> well, I don't like her coming in our bedroom, Mildred. Why not? Well, I mean, I, I might have been in the mood to, uh, you, know, you and me. Well, I couldn't good over the dog on the bed. I'll take you straight down. Yeah, hang on. <laughs> I didn't say I was in the mood. I said if I was, and I'm not. Oh, seize him. Hey, where's my tea and toast? The toast is in the bread bin, George. The tea's in the caddy. Oh, I see. Come on, then, Truffles. Beg. Oh, yeah. Can't I have some of yours? Well, of course you can if you like, George. Oh. <laughs> and I thought after breakfast we might go to the park. Oh, what a good idea, Anne. Well, thank you, Geoffrey. And what do you think, Tristram? Oh, well, yes, Mummy. Good. Well, that's what we'll do then. <laughs> You're a wonderful mum, Anne. Well, thank you, Geoffrey. Why are you talking to yourself? Just to make sure I haven't gone deaf. Oh. <laughs> I know you're both there. I can see your knuckles. Very well. If you want to chat, we'll chat. Tristan, put your comic down. Your mother wants to chat. Off you go, Anne. Um, well, um, I'm, uh, anything interesting in the paper? I don't know. I'm not reading it. I'm chatting. Can I have a dog? No. Mrs. Roper's got a dog. Mrs. Roper's also got a bald-headed loony with a ginger moustache. Do you want one of them? <laughs> We had this all day yesterday. Can I have a dog? Can I have a dog? So I could when I was older. So? I'm old enough. You've already got a goldfish. You can't throw sticks for a goldfish. Well, you can, but it won't bring him back. Is it my fault if he hasn't trained it properly? <laughs> oh. Why couldn't you bring me some breakfast in bed? I wasn't in the mood, George. You know how it is. I mean, sometimes one just isn't in the mood. Isn't that right? I see. It's tit for tat, is it? I've got to sing for me supper, have I? It's breakfast, George. And singing isn't involved. I'd get better treatment if I had a cold nose and dropped hairs all over the place. You have, and you do. It's this rock in the household, that thing has. I only have a chance to read the newspaper when it's whisked away from me and spread on the floor. Mm -hmm. I have to do the crossword on my hands and knees. Well, George, she's got to be house trained. She is house trained. She does it all over the house. <laughs> Now, look, you've reminded her. What? Look, she's got that, that sort of look in her eye. You take her out to the garden, George. Oh. Quickly! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All Tristan wants is a dog. You might like it. It might bite Mr Roper. Ah. No, no, you can't tempt me, Anne. Do you not realise how much a pedigree dog would cost? It doesn't have to have a pedigree as long as it woofs at one end and wags at the other. No, no, I'm sorry. You could teach it to snarl at Michael Foote when he comes on the television. No, 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 I've no intention. Good God, look at that. And in my back garden. <laughs> enough is enough. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, she got to the paper before I did, Mildred. Look at this. Oh, stop moaning. Yeah, and she's been having a go at my armchair. Look at them teeth marks. Some of those are yours, George. <laughs> <laughs> that was when England was beaten by Scotland. Mm. Did you manage to get out into the garden in time? Yeah, just about. Oh, good. Yeah, when's she going to learn? We're leaping up every five minutes to shove her on the grass, and half the time it's a false alarm. Oh, but George, she's so little, you see. I mean, it's difficult to tell whether she's just sitting down or... The other. Uh, did you have any breakfast? Well, yeah, I had a cup of tea and some of them little hard biscuits. Little hard. Biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this! It's useless, Mildred. Look, look at this. Half a photo. Percy Thrower showing Margaret Thatcher his prize, something or other. <laughs> we'll never know what it was. Well, it'll be on the news tonight. Well, judging by the expression on her face, it might not. <laughs> 
And if that's the dog, tell her to come in the back way. Oh, shut up. Oh, good morning, Mr. Fon. <laughs> I thought she was in the back garden. She was my back garden. Yours? Borrowed under the fence. If you ask me, there's a touch of mole about that dog. It dug up half my marigolds. Oh, I'm and... so sorry. Look, why don't you come in and talk to George? I mean, after all, he is the head of the household. Sometimes. <laughs> uh, uh, George, uh, Mr. Fourmile has a little complaint. She's bitten the head off my dahlias. Why'd you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Not me. Your dog trifles. Truffles. She's dug a hole in my lawn as well. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> <laughs> ah, she's fond of burying things. I only just rescued me teeth in time yesterday. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But I'm sure George will play for any damages. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah hang on. <laughs> I mean, can, can mere money compensate for, for a, a beauty of a garden in bloom? I mean, can cash be put against the loveliness of Mother Nature in all her glory? Yes, it can. About £15, I'll send you the bill. <laughs> well, typical, that is, isn't it? Bloody Phyllis, Annie. Oh. <laughs> Now you've upset Mr. Fourmile. Me? It's that mobile dish mop of yours. Oh, don't be sorry. I mean, look at her. That wistful gleam in her eye. With just a, a twinkle of scampishness. Yeah, well, I've a good mind to take her out and lose her, twinkle and all. It wouldn't be worth the hospital bills, George. Eh? Hey? But since you volunteered, you can take her out. I'll clean her up, and then we'll go for walkies. Twice around the park. Now, look here, Mildred. I'm not in the... Eel! <laughs> here they are, Truffles. You're liking it here, better than the park. Hello. Oh, Hello, morning. Mm. Uh, can I have a pint of brown ale when you're ready and a packet of cheese and onion crisps? <laughs> Your dog just drank some of my beer. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, top that up, will you? <laughs> I'm not drinking that. Uh, oh, no. Uh, well, another pint of that. Oh, put her on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. That's a nice puppy, isn't it? I hate dogs. Uh -huh. My wife left me because of dogs. Oh, yeah? Used to lose all the housekeeping money on them. Oh. That's one reason why I don't like dogs. And another reason why I don't like dogs is because what your dog's just done on my boot. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll tie her up outside. Oh, sorry about that. That was naughty, wasn't it? Um. Um. Oh, where's Tristram? In the kitchen, why? I've got him something, something he really wants. Oh, Geoffrey, you've actually got him well, a... Well, yes, sort of. I mean, it wags at one end and woofs at the other. Oh. <laughs> Runs on batteries. Look. <laughs> Tris, close your eyes. I've got a surprise for you. I keep them closed. Right, you can open them now. <laughs> Daddy bought it specially for you. Watch this. <laughs> it's not real. No, but it, it doesn't make a mess or molt or dig up gardens. It's better than a real dog, isn't it? Well, it's, uh, it's different. Well, you like it, don't you? Oh, yes, it's sort of almost what I wanted. Well, nearly almost, sort of. <laughs> well, it's nice in here, isn't it? Friendly. <coughs> <laughs> well, yeah, um, who do you think I'm winning at 3.30, then? Knock it off. Knock it off? Oh, yeah, you're riding it. <laughs> This is a Greyhound standard. Greyhounds don't have riders. Oh. <laughs> you live and learn, don't you? 
a nice dog, don't they, Graham? Mm. At least you don't drink your beer and piddle on your boots. <laughs> She didn't do it on purpose. I mean, she wouldn't have picked on you if there'd been a tree, Andy. <laughs> but there wasn't, not in here. <coughs> they do say that uh, pet owners get to look like the pets they own. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. Do you by any chance own a ferret? No. <laughs> Amazing. Well, yeah. Yeah. Did you insult me just then? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah, well, you probably didn't mean to. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll be off then. Uh, next time, uh, he wants to watch it, that young fella, that's all. <laughs> <sighs> oh, my God, she murdered me. <laughs> Come on, girl, where are you? but it's not the same. I mean, if Geoffrey came home and found a, a, a toy wife in bed, he'd soon object. Hmm. George wouldn't. <laughs> it's just that he's not very sensitive in certain areas. Yeah, same as George. <laughs> he means well, but he's forgotten what it's like to be little. Would George... <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you like another cup of tea, dear? Yes, please. Yeah. What does Mr Roper think of your dog? Oh, he thinks a world of her. Oh, He'd be lost without her. <laughs> Truffles, here you go. Come on. Where are you? Oh, excuse me. Have you seen a what's name? <laughs> oh? oh, my wife had killed me. I tied her up and she got away. What? Your wife? No, no, no. It, uh, the Yorkshire do that. The what's name? But terrier. Ah, yeah. Little thing, pointy ears, little hairy body. That's it. No, I ain't seen that. <laughs> What, mate? Why don't you try the park? Oi! Oi! God bloody! Come on, girl! Where are you? Come on, fools! Tough, tough! Come on! Tough, fools! You won't find any growing in there. <laughs> Truffles! No, where are you? Come on! Come on, girl! Truffles! <whistles> come on, girl! Truffles! Truffles, where are you? Truffles, come on now! Are you in here? Oh, oh dear. Oh, it's only fun when she comes. Come on, girl! Where are you now? Tuffles! Tuffles! Are you in here? Come on, my girl! Tuffles! Sorry, madam. Um, uh, sorry about that. I've registered her with the Kennel Club, of course. Oh, look, there's her full name. Truffles de Bourbon Fitzwilliam III. Quite a pedigree, Mildred. Yes. If she could talk, she certainly wouldn't talk to any of us. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> this one's fine. <laughs> well, here we are. Home again, Truffles. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. You can't come in here. No, stay. There's a good girl. Stay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm training her, Mildred. Obedience. Well, uh, don't leave her out there, George. Bring her in. Hey? Well, bring her in. Bring her in? Mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with her big men. Ah, she's uh, gone upstairs. Uh, there she goes, upstairs. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, 
uh, gone to uh, clean her teeth or something. Oh, that's some training programme. Well, I'll leave the door open, George, and then she'll come in when she wants to. That's it. Do you want a cup of tea? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well. Are you, uh, are you going to let her have puppies, Mildred? Oh, yes. I want her to have everything that I've missed. <laughs> <laughs> Mildred? You, 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 know, you know, this morning when I, you know, when, when I, I said that I, I went out and take her out and lose her, you know, I, I didn't mean it. Of course you didn't mean it, Joel. No, I mean it. <laughs> <laughs> if I was, if I was to lose her or, or, or something, I'd be, well, I wouldn't do it deliberately. Uh, it would be accidental. Well, of course, George. And then I'd accidentally strangle you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. I think I'll take her out for another walk. <laughs> You're right, Mildred. He does like her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, sir, I see, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, could you... Yes, sir. Well, could you describe the symptoms? I see. Floating upside down in the water. <laughs> and it sounds rather serious, I'm afraid, sir. Especially for a budgery girl. <laughs> well, perhaps a drop of brandy might help. Oh, you've already had some. I see. Well, all I can suggest is... That's right, sir. Why don't you telephone the vet? Oh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, hello. Uh, I'm looking for a Yorkshire... What's his name? Pudding? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 a terrier. You know, a sort of dog. Oh, a dog. I'm glad you mentioned that. Otherwise, I might have tried and sell you a Yorkshire Terrier cat. Well, <laughs> step this way, sir. Are you sure you wouldn't rather have a ferret, sir? No, I would not rather have a ferret. <laughs> Just a little. Over here, sir, the last of the litter. There you are. Probably... Pure Yorkshire, that's sir. Probably. Yeah, probably, you see, its grandmother got out the gate. When she come back, well, she looked too pleased with herself, see? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, she uh, yeah, looks uh, similar. Uh, would you say it had a wistful look in its eye with a twinkle of scampishness? Well, yes, but not as much as the ferret. <laughs> yeah, all right, I'll take her. Yeah, she'll so, never know the difference. Shall I wrap it up for you, sir? Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Good afternoon, madam. I believe this is your dog. Truffles! Oh, where did you find her? In the vicinity of the park, madam. She was brought to my attention by a pavement artist. Just had half his Mona Lisa washed off. Oh! <laughs> oh! You naughty girl! Oh, wasn't there a man with her? My husband? Uh, no, apparently not, madam. But if we come across him, we'll return him as well. <laughs> as long as he's got his identity disc on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You know, I... I just don't understand this. I mean, she was here only 20 minutes ago. Well, at least I thought she... I see. <laughs> Geoffrey? Geoffrey, it's Mr Roper. Oh. Uh, yeah, I... Uh... I, I, I brought the dog round to show it to you, before I show it to Mildred. Uh, there she is. I've already seen her. She dug up my garden this morning. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, that's Chuckles. It's, um, it's a similar face, isn't it? To what? Well, to the one she had this morning when she rooted among the marigolds. <laughs> Mr Roper, you are exacerbating the situation. Yeah? Oh, it's nice of you to say so. <laughs> now, look here. Geoffrey, Geoffrey, what's your blood pressure? Yes. Yes. You've got high blood pressure, have you? Yes. He's only had it for about three months. Oh, that's about when we moved in. <laughs> yes. You, well, you want to take it easy, son, relax, you know, do a bit of gardening. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he's in a bit of a mess out there, isn't it? And, yeah, well, I'll be off then. You, uh, you did recognise her then? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Well done. <laughs> um... How do you feel about emigrating? <laughs> there, there, there. Do the nasty man lose you then? Never mind. When the nasty man comes back home, you can bury him in the garden. <laughs> Mildred! Uh -huh. Come on, in you go. Have your dindins. There you go. Mildred! Oh. <laughs> Here I am, Mildred. Home uh, with truffles. Here she is. 
George? Yeah, uh, safely home. I mean, I, I, I didn't lose her or anything. There, there. She looks exactly the same, doesn't she? <laughs> well, I mean, if she doesn't, well, that's probably because she's a bit older than she was when you last saw her. <laughs> Um, do you think by any chance she just looks a little bit uh, bigger? No. Uh, oh, uh, well, uh, there was a shower of rain in the park. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they swelled, you know. Yes. <laughs> um, she seems to have lost her identity disc. Uh, well, oh, um, oh, yes, she got uh, bitten off by a duck. <laughs> No, George. Ducks don't eat metal. No, you're thinking of ostriches. Uh, yeah, ostriches, yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no not, not, in the, not in the park. George, there is uh, some other small change that I seem to have noticed. <laughs> but Truffles was a girl when you took her out, now she's a boy. <laughs> You'd have spot a thing like that. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, you, you, you heard it, read about people changing sex, you know, in the Sunday papers. Yeah, well, I mean, why not a dog? I mean, dogs can easily get... <laughs> Snap. <laughs> Wake up, Uncle George. Yes? A nice little cold nose in each ear. There we go. Wakey, wakey. Uh, oh, uh, no, not again. Oh, God, not two of them. Uh, get off. I'm sick of your stupid truffles. This is not truffles, George. It's snuffles. Oh. Or, or waffles or something. I haven't made up my mind. Well, we can't keep both of them. It doubled the paper bill. Oh, you're absolutely right, George. You what? Well, we've got a dog and a bitch here. Of course we can't keep both of them. I mean, when they get older, they'll... Uh, well, you know what they'll do. No. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, yeah, I'd thought of that. No, you never do. <laughs> yeah. oh, I'll take her back to pet shop, scruffles or piffles or whatever. No, George, I've got a much better idea. Oh, thank you. You mean he's mine? I can keep him? Yes, dear. What about Debbie? Ah, well, we may have to get rid of him, but you can keep the dog. <laughs> no, you're sure, Anne? Yes, Mildred. Just look at his face. Um, Tristram. Ah, leave this to me. Geoffrey, Geoffrey, you're not going to like this, but I'm about to talk you into letting Tristram have a dog. No need to, Anne. I've already got it. 